Très bon dessin. <laughs> you know, that's just my, grand my grandmother used to sing that when she cleaning up. That's a Negro spiritual. Black work song. <laughs> Not everybody know about that. I know. See, white people, you guys might whistle when you work. <laughs> you dig? But that's how you can tell what kind of work we're actually doing. <laughs> I study that kind of shit. I do anything that has to do with race. I read a little here, see a little there, and I travel. That's always good. Uh, traveling has made me a, a racism connoisseur, if you will. <laughs> you know, it's different from region to region. Anyone ever been down south? So you guys know what I'm talking about. Now the racism down there is just fucking ah, it's perfect. It's due to a perfection. It's comfortable, it's out in the open. There are no secrets in Mississippi. Everybody knows the deal. Morning, nigger. Morning, sir. <laughs> Not up here. You hit the big cities, man, it's different. It's always a secret. And we should do like them. We should keep our shit out in the open, then a little. I mean, with limits. <laughs> you don't want to say whatever comes to your mind. That might be a little much. White dude be walking down the street, minding his business. And the brother walk up to him, hello. You white oppressor, you slave master rapist of Africa. <gasps> Why, hello, my big lip spear chucking friend. <laughs> Touche, honky. So, Whitey, what did you do today, hmm? Oppress a new land and make the people there Christians against their will? <laughs> what did you do, fellow? Burn those big black lips on a crack pipe as you missed your job interview? <laughs> Easy, Whitey, you're cutting deep. Now this chit-chat has got me thirsty. You will excuse me for a moment. I'm going to go to the Korean store and get something to drink. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Hello. You slanted eyed, ruined the economy in our neighborhood by opening stores and taking the money out the community. Chink. <laughs> well. <laughs> Good afternoon, you browse around but never buy anything. Suspicious looking nigga. After a while, that might be too much. <laughs> you can't help it. If you're an American, you're a racist. We brought up from the beginning to think in generalizations. We never look at the individual. We rarely look at the individual. I'm a racist. I know I'm a racist. You know how I know? The other day, I caught myself being racist against myself. <laughs> There's so much shit getting on, I got mixed up. I forgot whose team I was on and shit. <laughs> One time I was reading the paper, man, this story came on about the, uh, this guy was suing a department store because they wouldn't let him play Santa Claus, you know, because he's black. And I was actually like relieved when the department store beat him. That's bad. But I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the idea of a black Santa Claus. Man, that shit would suck. We wouldn't get our presents to the 28th, 29th. Ah! Sorry, I'm late, kids. Santa got caught up with some pussy in Vegas. I had to sell some toys to get back, shit. Where are them cookies at? <laughs> <laughs>